Hi all, welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to discuss how to create SSH keys and access a Linux virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. We are going to create these SSH keys using PuttyGen software. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss what are SSH keys and some concepts of SSH key pairs and we are going to see the demo on these steps. What are SSH keys? Before seeing the concepts of SSH keys, we should study what is the SSH protocol. To access a remotely located Linux machine from a local machine, we use SSH protocol. SSH stands for Secure Shell. This SSH protocol is widely used nowadays to log in remotely from one machine to the another machine. So globally, there are two types of authentication that is possible. So the first method is uh, password based mechanism or password based uh, authentication. Second one is key based authentication. So why we are going for key based authentication? Because compared to password based authentication, key based authentication is more secure. A password can be easily cracked, whereas the encrypted key cannot be easily cracked. So that's why people are going for key based authentications nowadays. So now what are SSH keys? So an SSH key is an access credential in the SSH protocol. Its function is similar to that of a username and the password. So instead of password, we are going to use these keys. Now we'll see the concepts of SSH keys. So normally SSH keys always comes in pairs. Pair means two. So in every pair is made up of a private key and a public key. Private keys should never be shared with anyone. A public key is used to encrypt information that can be shared and it is used by the user and the remote server. So when you create an SSH key pair, it consists of two keys that is the private key and the public key. Private key will get downloaded to your local machine whereas the public key you, you need to share it to the user and the remote server. To use this authentication methodology, first you need to generate your own SSH key pair. Once the key pair is generated, the next step is to put the public SSH keys on the remote server. You know obviously, SSH key pair will contain a public key as well as a private key. So after completing these steps, use your terminal to enter into your SSH username and the IP address of the remote system. So this will initiate a connection to the remote system using the SSH protocol. So in the client terminal, you need to mention your private key. So these are the algorithms, I mean the encryption algorithms that are used to create these SSH keys. You should choose any one of these algorithms at the time of your creation. So now we will see the demo on how to create and access a Linux VM in Google Cloud Platform using SSH keys. Now step 1. So install PuTTY or PuTTYGen in your local computer. So this step is already done. I mean the installation of PuTTY and the PuTTYGen is already done. Now in the step 2, we are going to generate keys using PuTTYGen and download the private key. Just open your PuTTYGen software. Just click generate. Before that, make sure that you choose any one of this encryption algorithms. So I'm choosing RSA algorithm. Now you select generate. Now you roll your cursor all over here. So once this is done, you will be getting these things. And here you mention the username. So I am mentioning it as admin. Now your key is ready. 
you need to save your private key first just click save private key so it is asking uh, that you are going to save this key pair without a passphrase you just say yes so in the desktop uh, just save it and you can give any file name i'm giving it as my key so now my key has been saved so now create a linux vm and upload the public key to the google cloud platform this is your third step now you log in to your google cloud console just open a browser and type console.cloud.google.com enter your username and the password here now i have logged in to the google cloud platforms management console just click your navigation menu go to compute engine just select vm instances make sure that you are in the correct project so in this page just click create give any name to your instance and you select any of this uh, instance type so for time being i am selecting f1 micro shard for instance this is your uh, uh, boot image so debian image i am selecting and beneath that under security just enter your public key here so your public key is available with putigen so copy from here to here and paste the same here just say create so this is going to be your public key so now my instance is getting deployed let me resume the video once it is deployed Welcome back. Now my instance got deployed. With this step three got over. Now step four. Now we are going to access my Linux VM using the putty with the help of my private key. Now you just open putty. So to access your uh, Linux machine, you need the external IP address of that machine. So just use your console to extract the external ip address now go to putty again paste the external ip address in the inventory side just click ssh or expand ssh click auth mention your private key here so my key is going to be my private key click it say open open so now login as the username admin because admin is the username which you use to create your keys so that's why the name admin that's it you logged in with the help of the private keys that's all about the demo this is the summary of this uh, video which we have discussed so far Thank you from Vsparks and thank you for watching.